Writing the perfect AI prompt can be difficult. Normally, you have a task in mind and the prompt you write for that is okay, but it's not quite what you wanted. Getting from an average prompt to a great prompt can get complicated. But today, we are going to learn a simple approach to drastically improve your prompts using the AI model itself. So what exactly is this approach? Well, we'll start with an average prompt and improve it iteratively by providing feedback on its own output. We will plug this feedback along with the output into another prompt and pass it back into our AI model to get an improved prompt. We can then repeat this process to iteratively improve our prompt. What we'll end up with is a prompt that works extremely well for almost all use cases. Let's jump straight into some real world examples to see how this works. We'll cover a simple text summarization example and then look at how this can help us write better code. For the first example, we have a product description for the Aqua Smart Water Bottle. Our task is to create a short summary for a busy customer who might see it on an online store. Let's start with our initial prompt. We don't have to spend too much effort on this. We'll just write a simple prompt saying, please summarize the following product description for a busy customer and then we'll paste in the product description. So we got some initial output for this and it looks pretty good, but there are some things that it missed. So let's provide some feedback on what we think would have made the summary better for our use case. Now this feedback is entirely subjective and will differ based on your use case and your goals, but that's okay because each prompt should actually be tailored to a particular use case. So coming to our feedback, firstly, this output missed the personal companion aspect which is key to our product's branding. Secondly, it lost the nuance of the user experience. The original summary mentioned that it seamlessly syncs and has an intuitive app. The summary missed these keywords and just said that it syncs with a mobile app. Finally, it dropped specific details like the material being 100% PPA-free Triton plastic, which we feel could be a key selling point for a health conscious customer. Again, this is just some example feedback, but let's use it and see what happens. So now to use this feedback to improve the prompt, we'll create a meta prompt. A meta prompt is just a prompt that asks the AI to improve an existing prompt. So let's go through this meta prompt. We'll start with some initial instructions and then provide the original prompt template, the input it was used on, the output that was generated, and finally, the detailed feedback that we just discussed. Our final instruction to the AI is to revise and improve the original prompt template based on the feedback. Note that we want to ask it to improve the prompt template and not the full prompt itself. Right now, we are using this to summarize a description of a water bottle, but we'd want to use this prompt template for generating other marketing copy in the future as well. Feel free to pause and go through this meta prompt if you want. Once we run this, we'll get a prompt that looks much more detailed than our original prompt. Now let's use this new prompt with the same product description as before. We can see that the output here is actually much better. It has a headline, calls it a personal companion and includes specific keywords like seamlessly, intuitive and the 100% BPA free Triton plastic, even though it was never specifically mentioned in the prompt template itself. This implies that the prompt template is generic enough to use for other product summaries as well. Now in the real world, we would ideally find even more shortcomings and feedback with this output. And we could then repeat the process by providing this feedback along with the current prompt and its output and get the next version of our improved prompt that we can use. Now let's look at another example for generating code. We have our initial prompt template here, which is to write some JavaScript code for a particular scenario. Our scenario here is to write a function to reverse a linked list. So let's run this. We can see that the AI generates some code and functionally it looks fine, but the code isn't exactly what we'd like it to be. Firstly, there are inline comments explaining every single line, which we don't want. It also includes a ton of example usage and helper functions that we don't want either. Ideally, we would just want the function to reverse the linked list. Finally, another thing is that it uses abbreviations like val instead of value. We would prefer our code to have full forms if possible. Again, this is just my personal feedback, 
which is subjective, but I want to demonstrate how we can use this feedback to get the prompt to do what we actually want it to do in the next iteration. So let's refine the prompt template now. We'll create our meta prompt to refine the original prompt. Like before, we'll provide the original prompt template and then we'll give the filled in prompt which has the use case that we used in this example. We'll also provide the generated code which was the output and our feedback on this output that we just discussed. Finally, we ask it to improve and revise the original prompt template based on the feedback. For improving the prompt template, we can use a better model, say Gemini 2.5 Pro, because we won't be doing this as often as using the actual prompt itself. So it makes sense in terms of cost and billing considerations. Again, we can see that the improved prompt it gave us is much more detailed and comes with some requirements and conventions based on the feedback that we gave. Let's try this new prompt template with our same use case again. Now we can see that the output code with the new improved prompt template gives us code that looks much closer to what we wanted. It doesn't have too many inline comments and it doesn't have the example usage either. Additionally, it's using full forms for variables now. For both examples that we saw just now, we didn't really know anything about how to write a good prompt. All we did was come up with a basic initial prompt look at the output we got and gave feedback to the AI model based on our preferences and use cases. The new prompt that we got from this method performed way better than the initial one. The nice thing about this is that we can repeat this process as many times as we like until we achieve results that satisfy our requirements. Oh, and in case you are wondering, yes, you can use this method to improve the meta prompt that we were using to improve our prompts in the first place. So give it a try and see if your prompts improve by using this approach. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.